Antibiotic Resistance Antibiotics have shaped the society as we know it today. They are one of the most powerful weapons against infectious bacterial diseases. The activity of antibiotics prevents the growth of bacteria by disrupting cellular membranes or by interfering with bacterial processes like protein synthesis and DNA replication. Antibiotics have been widely used to fight dangerous diseases, but today many of them are becoming less effective. Why? The problem is not with antibiotics at all, but with the bacteria they are supposed to fight. That's the theory of natural selection by Charles Darwin. Bacterial growth is quite fast. The complete proliferation cycle can be a matter of minutes. Since their replication isn't always perfect, during the process bacteria undergo the acquisition of mutations. The vast majority of mutations are completely harmless, but occasionally they confer new useful functions. For sure, the most helpful is the resistance to antibiotics. Acquired mechanisms of resistance may include the capacity to inactivate antibiotic molecules, the creation of pumps to throw antibiotics out of the cells, of the mutation of cellular components so that antibiotics can no longer find their target. Bacteria can easily spread their resistance thanks to mobile elements called plasmids, which are transferred not only to daughter cells during replication, but also to neighboring bacterial cells via horizontal transfer. This is why antibiotic resistance is continuously growing. Nowadays, there is an urgent need to control the use of antibiotics. A careful employment should concern their prescription for both humans and animals. The 2006 European Union decision to ban antibiotics as growth promoters marked a significant step towards a more responsible use. However, the CDC reported that antibiotic resistance still causes one death every 15 minutes in the US. We need to do more. Bacteria are now becoming super bacteria which are no longer responsive to any antibiotic. And there is an increasing evidence that resistance can be also transferred from animals to humans. The discovery of new conventional antibiotic molecules is running aground. But research is now providing cutting-edge novel approaches by identifying natural bioactive molecules with direct antimicrobial effects or capable to restore antibiotic efficacy towards a safer and healthier future for both animals and humans. My name is Andrea, R&D intern at Vatagras PA. I'm a biotech graduate and in my free time I love listening to the music, learning new languages and traveling. Thanks for watching.